I, I didn't think this was a perfect game by any means, but this is much closer than to what we hoped. And I think you got to give Ty Lu a lot of credit here. Ty Lu is the master at throwing junk defenses at a team and mucking up a game, and that's what we saw tonight. At times, Ty Lu was just throwing defenses out there that were really tough to, to deal with. And I, you got to give him credit. That's what he's known for. And this Clippers team, everybody's like, oh, no Kawhi, no KD, or, you know, or to no uh, Paul George. This is going to be easy. Well, do you remember what Ty Lue did with this team without those two guys last year? He had them competitive in every game. They played well. People were calling him one of the best coaches in the league. I think that's what we saw tonight. I, I yeah sure I mean I, I I agree I agree I mean Ty Lue's a phenomenal coach. There's one phenomenal coach on that court, period. Yeah. Like you have Norman Powell almost equaling what Devin Booker did tonight. What in the hell? You're not even going to try to throw double teams at my guy at all. Like you just let him cook, and he was cooking From the deep. Suns. Yeah, he's forty two points. Like. As great as Devin Booker was, Norman Powell matched him for the most part. Like, that blows my mind. And there was no adjustment whatsoever. And then you go to the other side, and people are pointing it out in the in the chat. Like, Kevin Durant is sometimes not even a factor on the offensive side because they're not even trying to get him the ball in certain circumstances. Devin Booker was cooking, but when the ball was getting forced out of his hand, they were basically trying to make everybody – uh, not name Chris Paul and Kevin Durant shoot the ball, and it was working. It yeah. was working, especially in the fourth quarter, until Torrey Craig hit that big three, which was crucial. Again. I just again, I just think that there's so many things that that need to improve because you're not going to get away with this when you're playing elite teams. Which every round you go go forward, you will play a better level of competition. Look, I'm not trying to put lipstick on a pig. I mean, the defense wasn't great on Norman Powell. That's why he scored the second most points somebody scored in the playoffs outside of Devin Booker tonight. If I told you before the game that the Clippers were going to score 124 points without Kawhi Leonard at PG, like before the series, would you have thought we won that game? Yes. Okay. Because, because I would... <laughs> I would have a feeling our offense did the same to them because they have none of their defensive pieces. Look, there's there's problems, right? If going forward, I agree with you, but these are problems we knew this team had that you were going to have to rely on KD and Devin Booker, and that the other guys were going to have to step up. They haven't stepped up, and we knew that might happen because the other guys are DA who has been up and down his entire career, and Chris Paul, who we knew was was on the downside of his career, and then you were relying on Tory Craig or or a Kogi. I, and so none of this surprises me, but I'm also not going to look at going up 2-1 in a series uh, and taking the, getting home court back as, as like, the, the ceiling's falling in on me. They won. And if they come out and they win again on, on Sunday or on Saturday, they're up 3-1 I, coming home. I That's all that matters. I, I, I don't really... I'm not upset about the fact that they they take control of the series and they might possibly win the series, which everybody expected coming into the series in the first place, right? Like, but that's not the end goal for me, and I know a lot of fans feel that way. It's it's the way they have been going about th this series and the wins, and the way Ty Lu has has managed to to junk up the game, as you put it, and make the Suns they they've. What the Clippers have done very, very well is they've tried their best, and it hasn't worked all the time, but they have tried to force everybody else to beat them outside of Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. Now, it hasn't succeeded because those two are such elite players that they are able to overcome. But my thing is, is that that you're not going to be able to get away with that with elite teams. And, and that's what I, I'm thinking. I've seen now 11 games with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, and not really any game has been like, smooth execution from beginning to end. It's 11 games. I get it. it I, I'm not panicking. Do you know what their was, record in those 11 this, games I, I, get it, I get it, but they were very, very, very I, a sloppy win's a tonight. Win. A win's a win, and all I need is for them to come out, play better on Saturday, play better in game five, and slowly turn into the team we think they are. 